Hello friends, I'm Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our tutorial series on StatPro. So in this video, we'll demonstrate how to start working in StatPro. So first of all, before starting our work, we need to create a folder. Because all stat files contain multiple files. So it's better if I create a single folder for a single project. So let me name it as project1. And then I'll go back to a stat interface. Then I'll click on new project. I'll select space and units. I'll select meter and kilonewton and location. I'll set to the created folder. So I've selected my location. Then I'll click next add beam. I'll keep it as default and then I'll click finish. So you can see that my stat interface has been opened. This is a grid. I'll not use a grid for maintaining some accuracy in stat. Now we can see that this is the stat interface. We have some, we have many options file in which we can create a new file. We can open an old file. There is also option of import and then we have edit view options, which we'll discuss later. And then we have the tools. Then we have the select option, then geometry, commons, analyze, mode, and window. And then we also have some icons on the left side and also some shortcuts here. These are the views, views from plus Z, minus Z. So I need the, suppose the top view, that is the view from plus Y, because you can see the axis the x direction is along the right side, the z direction is along the downside, and the y is the height. Other options we'll discuss as we move on. So first of all, I need to insert the nodes. So before inserting the nodes, let me go through my architectural plan. So this is my architectural plan. Now if I want to create the nodes, so this is my beam column plan at the plinth level of my building. So using that, I can find out the coordinates. So first of all, if I wish to find out the coordinate of this point, this will be instead, this is the X axis and this is the Z axis. So the coordinate of this point will be the Z coordinate will be zero and the X coordinate will be 7.266 since the unit I have selected instead as meter. So it will be 7.266. Similarly, the coordinate of this point will be Z will be zero and the X coordinate will be 10.797. The coordinates of the third point will be X will be zero and Z will be 1.072. I've written here 1.072. Similarly, we'll find out the coordinates of all the points in our center line. So I made an Excel file for that. If you want, I can give it as a link in our description. So that's all for today. And if you have any queries for finding out the coordinates from the center line plan, then do comment below. And please note that I have inserted the coordinates as per the specifications of X, Y and Z directions given in stat. So in the next video, we'll show how to insert these coordinates in stat. Pro. So that's all for today. Bye bye.